Hello, good evening. Police are hunting a mugger who broke a pensioner's jaw and stole cash from him in Birmingham city centre. An army veteran, Bill Hopkins, couldn't make it to the Remembrance Day parade in Centenary Square the following day, an occasion he's never missed before. Callum Watkinson reports. We'll do that. Yeah. So give me those. Bill Hopkins is a regular at his local bookies. Walking home nine days ago with what was for him a modest take, he was attacked by someone he believes may have been expecting more than the £40 they took. It might be somebody who had been in and seen me previous. It might not be just a, you know, because I've won 500, 100, 200. Bill walked home from the bookies along Gooch Street. It took him about seven minutes to arrive at his back gate and that's when he noticed a piece of litter on the floor by his front gate. That's the last thing he remembers and some of his blood was found on the ground in his own front garden. They fractured me jaw. They also done me nose because that's still tender now. Uh, sp split me on the head here somewhere as well. Uh, Bill 78, uh, now the, the injury he's got with a broken jaw, um, it could have been more serious. Uh, we, we don't know what happened to him, Bill doesn't even know what happened to him. Um, but as you can tell from the injuries he's got, it was quite serious uh, and a nasty attack. Yeah, so anything could have happened. A proud veteran, Bill should have been at the Remembrance Day parade in Centenary Square the day after he was robbed. It's the first year he's missed it. So might he now cut down the trips to the bookie? I've been up this morning. I don't think you can let people dictate to what you do. Otherwise, if you do, then you, you'll never do, go out. You'll be stuck in the house. He's his own person. He won't let anybody deter him for what he wants to do. You know, he won't be a prisoner in his own home because of this. You know, he'll go on as he's always done, being himself. If you start letting things worry you like that, uh, then you might as well pack it in. Uh, the daughter and the granddaughter worry more about it than me. Lock the doors, put the bolts on this, and you fat. <laughs> Police believe Bill may have been followed from the bookies along Hurst Street. They're asking anyone who saw him there to get in touch. Callum Watkinson for Central tonight.